Hi, and welcome to this tutorial to tricks to morph, move, and manipulate layers, paths, and pass points. On the web page, you will find documentation about the tool itself, like the UI, on this web page on ascripts.com. We have point paths, shape layers, polymorph, and spreaders. Let's start with points path. As you can see on the bottom and on the top, we have roughly speaking the same movement and that's how we will use breathe. So I use the delete tool to remove every expressions related to the guide layers. So if I select the stroke and let's say that I will use the property taper here of the stroke like this, I will also yeah, just to be sure that you can see what's happening right now, uh, I will uh, increase the end length and the end width like this, just like this. Uh, I will use, mm, let's say, dashes to see the dashes. So let's increase this stroke again and again and again. And now I will select it. I will select breeze and launch the tool. So sometimes, yeah. Just because uh, I was, um, I have this tool tips, which is activated. Uh, when it's activated, you can see here how to use the tool. And you will have here um, different options to be sure and to fine tune, to be sure that you will find the exact behavior that you want. It's like a die and retry game, you know, you need to find your way. So that's a mess, for example. That's typically a mess. So what I can do is to increase or decrease the effect and then use the distance here. And just for the example, as you can see, there is really speed movement. If I want to decrease the speed of the movement, I can use here the speed. So you can now see the idea. Now we have um, a very interesting feature, which is the expander. So the expander um, works like an effector. As you can see, you can also increase or decrease the influence or use here the options. And as you can see, you don't have the same influence. And you can also use negative values to obtain interesting behavior. Uh, what can we do when we don't have uh, a grid already prepared? Let's delete a large part of the layer. So I have just only one layer. So I will duplicate it and then I will select it. And I have here a tool, which is a grid maker in square, circle, triangle. So let's say, um, uh, let's keep it as it is and see what we have. Okay, we have this kind of grid. Interesting. I will delete this one, this little body, and I can use now. Oh, so this is just to move the grid, but you can delete it since it's like a no. And now I can play here with my path and I can move also elements of my grid. And I will put positive number and yeah, play with it. And you can imagine with any kind of shapes, any kind of uh, layers. Then in our tutorial, we have another way to play with the shape expander. So here we have a shape layer, illustrator file um, with all the shapes within the shape layer. And we can play with our positive or negative value to do the exact same thing that we saw before with the grid. So now we will see flame. Uh, flame is really under, uh, really easy to understand. So uh, here I have already made a shape, which is our fire. I will add another um, content within the shape with another color. So maybe, sorry. So this should do the trick. Oh, it's gradients, um, plume and plume. Yeah, a green fire, that's cool. No, let's say a, a red fire here. Yes. Okay. Um, I will add points here and there. And now we are ready. Yes, we have a fire. We have a fire to lit. Um, just select the layer, select flames, launch, 
and you're done. You're almost done because it's a fire, but it's not beautiful at all. Okay, so let's make it more appealing, more sexy. So uh, the first thing I need to do is to put the thresholds to select where the flames will start. Um, the speed will decrease a little bit. The speed, uh, the uh, attraction intensity. So that's how you can um, have a bigger or a smaller fire, but the fire will follow the um, trigger here. And now we have a kind of fire, reduce the intensity, and I will add some noise and some seeds, like a pro. And it's not fast enough. Next, so Zephyr is under points and path. It's a, a kind of wave. In fact, it's like breeze, but without an attached point, which means that you can influence, so I will use um, um, yeah, speed, the jumping here, and maybe we will reduce the amplitude solver, okay? So anyway, you will play with it and you will see by yourself that you can do everything you want, not only with a stroke, you can do it with a random shape immediately like this, okay? So now I have my shape, I don't have many, many, Points. It's important to have a lot of points. It's more accurate. So I will add points here and there and here. And I will right click to select mask and shape, set the first vertex. This point will be the point uh, for breeze, uh, which will not move. But for Zephyr, it's, it's not really important. But I wanted to precise that it's really important for you to right click and set first ver vertex to decide which point will be attached. For example, if you want to make the cape of uh, uh, Superman, uh, you will attach uh, the point to the, the neck. So now that I have um, my stroke here, I will just select breeze. Yeah, not the fair, just breeze. So, yeah, and you will, you will see what I mean. As you can see, the point is attached and don't move at all. Uh, let's continue. You will understand what I mean. Um, so we have this, so um, smoking kills, okay? But um, I decided to show how to create different kinds of uh, smoke using different kinds of features from tricks. For example, uh, we have the wavecraft. So the wavecraft is really, really easy to do. Just look at this. I will um, select the pen. Yes, it's saving. Then put this two points. I will delete everything else. You will see that it will go really fast. Boom. And that's it. Here we have a wave, a waveform, a cine wave. Um, I will remove using option or alt click the feel. And then you will see that you can modify the amplitude just with the guide layer. Otherwise, you don't use the trigger. And here you can use this um, amplitude slider. You have the phase, you have the speed, and you have the frequency. And for example, yeah, this is the lower frequency and amplitude like this. So Wavecraft is really, really handy. Uh, let's continue now, and uh, we will see uh, this little power, which is the repulse, and um, you will find it here, uh, repulse points and repulse points Bezier. So, as its name says, um, you can repulse any points of path on shapes or strokes or any kind of shape layer. Uh, so, I let your imagination and creativity do the rest. Oh, I like this one. So this one is um, the complexifier. So you will find it here. Okay. So what you need, um, you need this kind uh, of shape, a silhouette or uh, anything, um, but it works well with, uh, you know, the outline, the contour. So when you add by launching here and selecting here, complexifier, when you add this feature, you will create a kind of representation not really abstract, but here you can recognize the um, reproduction of the original path. And then you will 
play with feature that you can find here. Uh, the divider just to uh, start sooner or later to, to divide vertically your um, shape. Then the horizontal and vertical factors. So that's really interesting because it's kind of height and width of um, the projection. So you will, uh, by tweaking them, you will be able to create this kind of zoom. Uh, this is high by. So let me show you something. La 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 la. So um, that's really easy. Uh, you select all the shapes. You go to high by, which is in shape layers, in fact, uh, and uh, then <clears throat> you will have a dance around your tweaker. Um, that's the background. Let's look. You will have a dance of the shapes. So uh, up, I select everything, high by, launch. Oh yes, and now here we are. So um, the color is uh, of the tweaker is always random. So if you don't like it, you go here, you select a more visible color, for example, this one, and then you have, uh, so, uh, and the guide layer is never visible while you export or if it's a nested comp, okay? Um, and then here you can see the dance of the rocks uh, using this majestic feature. Hi, bye. Um, let's continue. Mm, yeah, Swallower. Swallower, uh, I love this little, little monster, so is in 2D, and that's just a gradient, okay? Uh, let's select it and let's go to path, point path and uh, swallower. Yes. Now, <clears throat> here, as soon as we touch the, the shape, uh, we have a, a weird behavior. This behavior is uh, like to swallow something and to reject something. Okay. Trip. And uh, as usual, you have different um, elements to tweak and to test. So uh, your path here is really important. If you don't have enough uh, points, you will see uh, things like that. So it's not a problem at all. What you can do is just to go here to take E twice to disable expression. Now you can go to your path and you can add more points to have something smoother. Here, um, what is interesting is uh, that you can manipulate this potato, but if you have to imagine that this is just an example, so you can um, manipulate a lot of things uh, within the shape, you know, to modify the path on the fly of your shape, okay? Oh, tornado, tornado is interesting. This little thing will be morphed into a tornado. Yeah, okay, so um, this is uh, this was a little stroke and this is now a tornado. Uh, let me turn the background in black. So the tornado in itself, it's interesting to create different um, kind of uh, behaviors. Here you have the frequency. So now you have something, you know, which turn on itself, but because it, there is a, a speed here of 20, that's slower. And uh, this is not really a tornado. Um, if I turn it like this, I can have, a, you know, something really interesting and maybe I can uh, multiply. Yes, here the numbers of turns and the speed. Yes, if I'm doing this with the segment curvature, I will have this kind of lovely thing so I can resize it It's and put it here. Yes. So. Here, that's the complexity of uh, each uh, element of the spiral. What can I move? Uh, the width, yes, of course, the height, just to avoid to, to do what I did, uh, which means like a savage to resize. <clears throat> and uh, what is interesting is that you can have a beautiful spiral here. So we are talking about, you know, a two point stroke at the very beginning, right? And you have this pattern. Let's say that you want something simpler like this and you are hypnotized. And if you want to have a speed in minus, you will turn in the other side, etc., etc. I will let you play with it. You have the, the main elements to do it. Now we have the spreaders. So the spreaders uh, are interesting. Why? Why are they interesting? Uh, because uh, I will delete this and everyone 
will be shocked. So I will remove everything. And now we have this kind of grid. So I will select all the bodies here. I will select the spreaders and spread everything as a circle. Boom. I have my circle. Um, here I have the start. Here I have the end. So it's not really a big deal, but I have options. And one of the options is to put, you know, a bounce like this. And I can also add a rotation. So I have a slider here. Let's say zero. And I will be there. And let's say, oh, any. Anyway. Um, you can imagine that. Here, you can have what you want. I mean, the photo of a superstar, a letter, a shape, uh, a composition, everything you want. You can spread the layers in circles, and then you have the rotation. And that's not all. You have also the possibility to spread in cross, to spread in heptagon, octagon, hexagon, everything which finished by a gun. And I'm gone because here uh, I made something, you know, with, with a T. I'm not joking. Um, I, I was thinking that it was a good idea at the very beginning. So I made this. Uh, if you tick this box, you will remove all the expressions, but you will also remove the guide layer. So you can restart again. So let spread as a T launch. So all the layers always take the colors of the guide layer. Uh, that's a personal choice. Um, so here we have our T, but of course it's massive. So what I'm going to do is to reduce here the spacing. I will click the elastic uh, checkbox and not rotation, just a T, just a T with a bounce. Um, we have many, many options. We can have, you know, magnetism, repulsion, uh, scale player, uh, layer spinner, opacity wizard, carousel in depth, high by, like we saw, a positional pioneer, uh, redrop shadow, just to, to have a kind of, um, tool to, uh, yeah, to, to, to manipulate shadows, uh, and upward, upward, which is one of my favorite. Uh, I will explain it, uh, I think uh, in another tutorial, but upward is a little, physics simulator. I'm not joking uh, or half joking, but no, really, you, you will see by yourself. Upward is, uh, yeah, is to do things like, uh, like this kind of things. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Thank you for watching until the end. Catch you later in the other part of this tutorial. Goodbye.